guys welcome back to my channel this is part two of my what i got for christmas this year and i'm gonna talk about all the books i got for christmas so excited for these books because they were on my wish list and oh my god i'm really really excited for this book i'm gonna talk about right now is this one oh my god you have no idea how long i've been wanting this book and i'm not gonna lie i'm in the middle of it and i can't stop reading it okay you guys have no idea about how excited i am for this book and this book it's dark romance it has some trigger warnings and i'm okay with that but some people don't it says right here that this book was previously taken down due to the warning but yeah it has the warnings in here and oh my god so far so good i'm loving it i love dark romance you guys know that i love spicy books so this is a really spicy book and a really dark book i haven't read something like this like ever but this is about a girl who has a stalker and he wants her like he really wants her he will do anything even if she don't want him so i know that's messed up but i like it i'm sorry <laughs> so far i'm loving it let's see how it goes i'll never lie so i'm not sure about what this book is about but it says here that a couple is searching for the house of our dreams but when they visit the remote manor that once belonged to a psychiatrist who vanished without a trace four years earlier a violent winter storm traps them at the stake with notions of escape until the blizzard comes to an end in a search of a book to keep her entertained until the snow abates trisha happens upon a secret room one that contains audio transcripts from every single patient Dr. Hale has ever interviewed. As Trisha listens to the cassette tapes, she learns about the terrifying chains of events leading up to Dr. Hale's mysterious disappearance. When she finds the final cassette, the one that reveals the entire horrifying truth, I think she's gonna stop the mystery of what happened to the doctor. Now this book. If he had been with me, like I was going to do a video about like reading sad books for a week. I heard that this book is really sad, like the final part. So I'm looking forward to it. It's about a girl and a boy who used to be like best friends. It's giving that someone's going to die. So I don't know. It, I don't know if this will make me cry or not, but I've seen a lot of people crying over this book so let's see how that goes a good life so this is about a psychiatrist that she's an expert on killers there's a notorious bloody heart serial killer whose latest victim escape and then identified local high school teacher as his captor all of these are like psychological thrillers and i'm here for it this has like 200 pages so it will be very easy to read it's about a girl who was hiking and had an accident she's in the hospital she's not dead yet and her sister tried to find an answer about exactly what happened so i'm really excited for this one i love this cover it's really beautiful look this is also a thriller out oh, his and hers this is also a psychological thriller <laughs> a woman is murdered anna andrews recruited to cover the case detective jack harper is suspicious of her involvement until he becomes a suspect in his own murder investigation I'm going to be making a tv series for this and i'm really excited this is about all the detectives and stuff and that's so excited for me because i love that kind of book so i'm really excited for this one too this is the second part of hunting adeline the first one ends on a cliffhanger so this i have to get the second part and i'm really excited next is hook okay so this is a retelling of captain hook and it has some spice on it that's all I have to say for that, but look at this cover. The cover is really like fascinating to me. I read The Never Key and Captain Hooks on it. I don't know if it's gonna be similar. And lastly, 
rock, paper, scissors. Okay. This book is about a man who has lived with face blindness his whole life. He can recognize friends or family or even his own wife. And she is sick of feeling unsafe. So they took a weekend getaway. They both know that weekend will make or break their relationship. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. Jose bought this for me, so I'm so happy for that. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys have liked this one. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more book content, more lifestyle content, things like that. Also follow me on TikTok and instagram i'm really happy they were on my wish list so thank you so much to everyone who got me these books for christmas i'm so happy and so grateful and yeah that's everything for today's video i will see you on my next one bye